Hello there, nibblings. I'm Faye. And I'm Equinar. Let's play Star Wars The Old Republic, episode 18. Here we are on Coruscant, as you can easily tell, because we're <laughs> just dancing with some random player that ran up to us and started dancing. And there he goes. Oh, he's done. So, all right, let's go. <laughs> okay, where are we going? Uh, well, out of the spaceport first. Um, and then we'll figure that out where fair. our uh, class quests are taking us. So I was sent here just to refresh each other and the viewers. I was sent here by my Jedi Master, Master Orgus Din, uh, to investigate the dark side on Coruscant. He wasn't any more specific than that. Um, mm. What what were you sent here? Um, I'm still looking for my ship. Ah, so you're following, what's his name? Yeah, I'm following, yeah, what's his face? What? <laughs> Skavik. Skavik, that's him. Alright. Are we using this elevator? Yep. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's the elevator song. I was waiting <laughs> for it. <clears throat> Alright, uh, there's a guy here we could talk to, if you won't feel like it. Ooh, let's talk to the guy. Poor little guy. I was hoping to meet just one of you. This must be what the saying an embarrassment of riches means. Considering your recent accomplishments, I shouldn't be surprised to find you traveling together. Greatness attracts greatness. Oh no, there's a third option. Uh oh. You got a name? Where are my manners? Forgive me. Anatol Rospar, Coruscant Special Affairs Liaison. I represent Venara yeah, Kale, Senator of Coruscant. She not only speaks for our capital world in the Galactic Senate, but oversees this planet's government. Senator Kale leads the effort to rebuild what was destroyed during the Sith Empire's invasion. Healing those old wounds has been slow and painful. One of my res possible responses is just like this conversation. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the war's been over a long time. It's hard to believe we're still recovering. Some wounds run deeper than others. This world faces many a crises. A shattered infrastructure, a booming refugee population, whole sectors descending into anarchy. All of these hinder the rebuilding. Senator Kale believes you're specially qualified to deal with a dangerous and urgent threat. She'd appreciate the favor of a meeting, immediately. So the senator wants to meet us? Apparently. I'll let you reply. Senator, huh? My time isn't cheap. <laughs> Arrangements will be made to, to say that. that you feel properly compensated. Senator Kale is the greatest leader we've had in decades. She'll not only rebuild this world, but the rest of the Republic with it. Speak to Minister Imo like at the Senate promises. Tower. Tell him you're expected. Good luck, and welcome to Coruscant. Ugh, politicians, am I right? He sounds like big politician promises to get people to vote for you. That's fine. Alright, uh, so I gotta go find this minister. Yeah. Um, I'm supposed to find... So... First of all, stop here and look. Just take a minute to look at this building. Let's, like, look up and look at it. Whoa. Yeah. That's, that's the, a cool building. That's the Senate building. The Galactic Senate. It's appropriately awesome for a Galactic Senate building. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Uh, I've got, um, uh, what am I supposed to be doing here? My, my quest is sending me back into the spaceport. Um, mine too. Oh, no, it's, it's yours that's showing up on mine. 
Oh no, minus oh. two. Yeah. Okay, let's go back in. Apparently, there's something we're supposed to do in the spaceport. You know, I think us taking the Eslas here might have messed something up. Hmm. Do do do. Which is weird. You'd think they, given what a high budget game this is, you'd think they'd get that kind of thing ironed out. Ah. Uh, we're supposed to check in here at these uh, customs terminals. Right. Were there some of these in the hangar that we came in on and we just completely missed them or what? I don't know. Oh my gosh, it called me gentle being. That's so adorable and gender neutral. A T7's talking to me. It looks like we're getting separate conversations. We'll be fine, T7. Uh, hang on, what am I doing? Okay, I'm done. Okay. I think I actually um, hacked this terminal in order to get accepted. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I couldn't see what well, you I were seeing. I did something. Um, well, come on yeah. back out. Where'd you go? I, I'm back outside the spaceport where we just were when we were looking at the Galactic Senate building. Oh, okay. So you hacked the terminal? Apparently. I, like, did something to it, and it was, like, making little spark noises and stuff. Ah, uh, it sounds like you hacked it. Or hot-wired it or something. Wish I could have seen what you were seeing. Say that. Yeah. I could only see, um... I just had, like, a really brief conversation with T7. That was all I had. I'm looking at the I had a little bit of a longer conversation with... Aw, watching cars go by. Yep. Flying cars. Mm -hmm. Had a little bit of a conversation with Corso, and um, we had a brief hollow call with that, with the gambler that I'm supposed to meet with. He has information. Ah, okay. All right, so here's uh, the taxi station here, but we don't need to nice. go in there yet. We need to go in the Senate building. At least I do. Um, I think your. I think your uh, your uh, class mission takes you somewhere else. I don't even know. There's a lore object here. What's that? 
Preserve your status. Protect the Republic. Own your very own stronghold today. Uh, strongholds. We'll have to come back for that, apparently. It's telling me I'm too low level. Mm. I think level 15 is when we do that. Is it 7 telling me something? No. Uh, Alright. Uh, Where are we going? I, oh, I saw a quest icon, but it's it's a PvP mission. We don't want to do those. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. So yeah, I've I've got to find Master Orgus, who is going to be in the Senate, I think. Oh, here's that oh, minister we're supposed to talk to. Yes. Oh wait, did we get split up? Thank you for coming on short notice. I'm Senator oh, Nara Kale. Forgive my abruptness, but time is a luxury I don't possess. As you may have heard, Coruscant is overwhelmed with refugees fleeing Imperial tyranny. Many have been here since the war. The refugees took over the old galactic market sector, huddling in shops and warehouses that were abandoned during the sacking of Coruscant. They refused to leave. Yeah, oh, we got stuck into separate conversations. Do you want to hit escape? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I hit a button wrong and it put us in separate conversations. So you just hit escape and then when you're ready, we can both start it again. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead and start it. Bemrati Haivo, Semper Finst Jun, Bonisan, Dumul Ganyor Nar. Thank you for coming on short notice. I'm Senator Venara Kale. Forgive my abruptness, but time is a luxury I don't possess. As you may have heard, Coruscant is overwhelmed with refugees fleeing Imperial tyranny. Many have been here since the war. The refugees took over the old galactic market sector, huddling in shops and warehouses that were abandoned during the sacking of Coruscant. They refused to leave. Is the Republic doing anything to provide for these refugees? Resources are scarce. There's only so much we can do. As so often happens when fear and poverty dominate, a criminal element has risen to take advantage of the situation. The Migrant Merchants Guild began as a political advocacy group for refugees. Over the years, it transformed into a ruthless and murderous criminal syndicate. As if these people didn't have enough problems. Now they're being controlled by gangsters. These criminals exploit the very people their guild allegedly protects. They rule through intimidation and extortion. The Migrant Merchants Guild has grown increasingly hostile and violent. Their criminal enforcers have acquired military-grade weaponry. Earlier today, their thugs took to the streets. They attacked our security personnel, set fires, began rioting. We're facing an armed insurrection. Look at that guy working away on his space tablet back there. Mm hmm Have these gangsters made any demands? They only seem intent on destruction. For generations, the old galactic market was Coruscant's central trade hub. Its importance isn't merely economic. It's a symbol of the Republic's freedom. The comm channels are jammed. We've lost contact with our security forces. I need your help ending this crisis. The criminals must not win. I'm a pretty good shot. Figure I can take at least half these guys by myself. <laughs> Considering your accomplishments on Ord Mantell, that's no exaggeration. Do whatever you must to save innocent lives from that criminal filth. Find my security chief, Captain Winborn. He'll help. Good luck. Nice droid. Oh, the, uh, the protocol droid there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're supposed to go talk to a captain in the market. In the market. Okay. Okay. Um, I need to go find Master Orgus. So, 
is over okay. this way, according to my mini map. I'm following you, and then can we go do my thing? Yep. All right, cool. Just figured we'd do this while we're here. Because your thing's not in the Senate, right? It's somewhere else. It looks like it. Yeah, here, right here. Tell me what's happening. You remember Master Kiwix and Padawan Kira? This is General Varsuthra and Dr. Eli Tarnas. We're discussing why the Republic secretly built a planetary-scale weapon without consulting the Jedi. My work barely qualifies as a weapon. It's the most humane military technology uh -oh. ever invented. With a single activation, the planet prison supercharges a world's upper atmosphere, turning it into an enormous ion cannon. Any starship entering or leaving the planet will be completely disabled. Perfect enemy no, containment that's a weapon. without casualties. You can't contain an enemy without casualties. How many lives are lost during a full-scale invasion? Our new weapon will end war as we know it. Regardless, you've allowed the Planet Prison's design files to be stolen by common criminals. I doubt the thieves even realize what they have. Besides, the data is encrypted. Our people are pursuing every possible lead. With all due respect, old friend, don't you think it's time the Jedi got involved? Mr. Kiwix and I must speak with the Supreme Chancellor. I need you here finding those design files. I won't let you down. You stay as well, Kira. Your security expertise may come in handy. General, we have a lead on the thieves. This is Agent Galen with the Strategic Information Service. Agent, these young Jedi will assist you. Thirty-two hours ago, thieves raided a military storehouse. They stole weapons, supplies, and data files for the Planet Prison Project. The thieves' leader slipped up, showed his face to a security camera. We identified him from our criminal database. Vistus, Rhodian smuggler, staying with the so-called Migrant Merchants Guild. Nasty bunch of criminals. Why would alien gangsters rob a military storehouse? They must know what you're working on. Impossible. It must be a coincidence. The Guild is a violent, well-armed criminal cartel. Invading their headquarters is something only a Jedi could pull off. Oh dear. I really must go sit down. Excuse me. I don't Agent, trust him. let's use your fancy security network to distract those gangsters. Give my friend and the thief some quality time. When you find Vistus, contact me. The data files are top priority, but try to recover anything else that was stolen from us. Good luck. All right. So now I've got to infiltrate that thing, a market, or uh, the warehouse. Yeah. Okay. You want to go find? It was weird during that whole conversation. I couldn't see you. I could only see your lightsaber. Oh. That was on your belt. That is funny. Kira um, only appeared like a few seconds before she finally spoke on my screen. She was invisible. Oh, yesterday. well, yeah, me too. And she just, like, popped in. She didn't walk on the screen or anything. It's kind of funny. I also couldn't see Kira, but I also couldn't see you for the entire time. Mm. Alright. Um, but you could still hear me talking? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Seems kind of trippy. Okay, he's got a big walker droid. Yeah, it almost ran into me. Yeah. Alright, um, so we gotta go... Let's go do your quest. Uh, okay. Wherever it is. Where is my quest? Uh, well, wherever it is, we have to take a taxi to get there. Oh, we do? Please select mm -hmm. an available travel route. Where, where did we go? Um, which... I'm not seeing it. Which one's yours? Which what? Have a safe and pleasant stay. Come over hey, here uh, to the. Do you see me? Uh. Yeah. 
from right here. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. There this you way. are. Yeah, this way. It's, uh, I think you just grab one, I guess. Vehicle pads are currently no, open for this the taxi Have person. a safe yeah, and pleasant right stay. So, which, yeah. which spot are we going to for your uh, class mission? Galactic Market. Okay. It's on the right. Alright, got it. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Get a Oof. get a view of traveling through Coruscant's busy uh, thoroughfares, They're not streets. <laughs> Is the air just like this? I thought that was a screen. What do you mean? It's like all orange and smoggy. planet is a city. The whole planet is a city. Yep. There are no natural biomes left on Coruscant. Oh. <laughs> that is mildly disturbing. Alright. So where are we going? Uh, this way. Far? No, oh, no, I see. I don't even know. Okay. I'm just following the arrows. Me too. This Oops. is it, isn't it? This is Cantina? Yep. This one, the other one, that one. Yeah, Cantina seemed like a place where smugglers hang out, right? Yeah, because he's, he's gambling. You're a scoundrel. Exactly. <laughs> oh, here we go. No, not that. Oh, the mini map. This one's green. Yeah, what are they playing? Whatever that game is that there was. Either Pazak or Sabak. I think it's Sabak. Those poker faces. Yeah, this is just space poker. <laughs> oh good, he's finally done. <laughs> Forgive me for being so forward, but you're more radiant than a Tatooine sunset. Adarmus Polaron, at your service. You. Darmus, you're slicker than a greased hut. She's got your number, old man. <laughs> you wound me. I meant that compliment from the bottom of my heart. Sorry to hear about Vidu. He was a man of refined taste and a terrible card player. I'll truly miss him. Life is like Sabak. The trick is to quit while you're ahead and enjoy your winnings. Exactly how I'll spend my twilight years. Will be flying around this galaxy a hundred years from now. Nice. <laughs> I like your spirit, Captain. Sometimes I think I'm already too old for this business. Now, I know this isn't a social call. Corso says you have troubles, and I'm prepared to help. A man named Skavik stole my freighter and brought it here. Corso mentioned a cargo hold full of stolen blasters, and the infamous Rogan the Butcher, too. My sympathies. 
Skavik is well known in the galactic underworld. He's earned death sentences across the galaxy for everything from armed robbery to kidnapping. He's known to be in the Sith Empire's pocket, and he even cheats at cards. I'm happy to help you find him. If there's one thing I hate, it's a card cheat. <laughs> oh my. Beauty, intelligence, and fine moral values. What's not to like about that combination? As soon as Corso mentioned Skavik's uh. name, I alerted all my best informants. I'm getting some interesting leads. What did I tell you, Captain? Darmus can find out anything. We'll have Skavik in no time. Let's hear Darmus's brilliant advice first. I don't offer advice, Captain. Only information. What you do with it is up to you. Skavik recently used the services of a data slicer named Kixi in the Migrant Merchant's Guild headquarters. Quite talented, I hear. I'll say this. The man has a way with women. I don't think it's a romantic relationship. Skavik doesn't convert with aliens. Even near humans like Kixi. Kixi might be able to help you flush Skavik out of hiding. Be careful, though. The guild is well-armed and doesn't like outsiders. Excuse me, darling, but there's a Chagrian with more credits than sense. I really shouldn't let him leave with all his money. <laughs> Please don't call me darling ever again. <laughs> Has he seen what you can do with your leg? <laughs> Clearly he hasn't, or he wouldn't be so forward. <laughs> All right, uh, well, we need to wrap this one up. So uh, why don't we go ahead and sign off? Oh, okay. Well, that's it for this episode. Go ahead and tune in next time and we'll follow up with uh, Captain Winborn and go ahead and do whatever else it is that was Sounds good. You've got to follow up with somebody too. <laughs> yep. Uh, I've got to raid a warehouse. All right. We might be able to pull those off at the same time. It looks like we're both going to the same place. Oh, how convenient. How convenient indeed. But I could be wrong. <laughs> well, we'll find out. All right. So we will. May the force be with you, nibblings. <laughs> <laughs>